To graph the equation of y equals 5x, we are going to use the x and y intercepts of the line. First, let's find the x-intercept. The x-intercept of a line is the point where the line crosses the x-axis, and it has the form of a, 0. So, to find the x-intercept of the line, we are going to substitute 0 for y, and solve the equation for x. 0 equals 5x. After dividing both sides by 5, the equation becomes 0 equals x, or x equals 0. So, when y is 0, x is 0. This tells us that the line has the x-intercept of 0, 0, where the line crosses the x-axis. Now, let's find the y-intercept. The y-intercept of a line is the point where the line crosses the y-axis, and it has the form of 0, b. So, to find the y-intercept of the line, we are going to substitute 0 for x and solve the equation for y. 5 times 0 is 0, and the equation becomes y equals 0. So, when x is 0, y is 0. This tells us that the line has a y-intercept of 0, 0, where the line crosses the y-axis. This means that the x and y-intercepts of the line are the same, and the line of the equation has only one intercept, which is 0, 0. So, let's find two more points the line of the equation passes through. For this, we can choose any values for x or y. Here, let's use x equals 1 and x equals minus 1, and find the values of y when x is 1 and minus 1. First, let's find the value of y when x is 1. So, we are going to substitute 1 for x. 5 times 1 is 5, and the equation becomes y equals 5. So, when x is 1, y is 5. This tells us that the line of the equation passes through the point 1, 5. Next, let's find the value of y when x is minus 1. So, we are going to substitute minus 1 for x. 5 times minus 1 is minus 5. So, when x is minus 1, y is minus 5. This tells us that the line of the equation passes through the point minus 1 minus 5. Now, we have these three points in a coordinate system, and we can see that the points line up. So, let's draw a line through these points and put arrows on both ends of the line. And, this is the line of y equals 5x.